By now, almost everyone on this planet knows who Taylor Swift is. With her successful world tour concerts and album launch, it looks like this is her era. Finally, more people get to see how dedicated and hardworking she is in her career. But she isn't just famous for her music, she's also known for her lavish lifestyle. Have you ever wondered what it's like to live like her? In this video, you'll get a peek into Taylor Swift's glamorous life. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell button so you won't miss any of our videos. Taylor Allison Swift was born in 1989 in the city of West Reading, Pennsylvania. She's not just a singer, but also a talented songwriter. Even as a kid, she loved riding horses and competing in rodeos. Her passion for country music grew from there. Taylor started writing songs and singing in contests, and at just 17, she hit it big with her first album, which quickly soared to the top of the charts. Since then, she's become one of the biggest names in music. Some of her top hits include You Belong With Me, Blank Space, Bad Blood, Wildest Dreams, Style, and many more. During her 15-year career, Taylor has achieved incredible success. She's won 10 Grammys and 29 AMAs, making her the artist with the most AMAs of all time. In 2019, she made history as the very first recipient of Billboard's Woman of the Decade Award. This just shows that she is a hugely important figure in both country and pop music. With all this professional success, it's no surprise that she can afford to live a luxurious life. Taylor Swift is quite savvy when it comes to investing her fortune, especially in real estate. In New York, she's made some notable moves. For instance, she once rented a historic building, dating back to 1912, where she lived for a while. This five, 400-square-foot house underwent modern renovations, boasting five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and two guest bathrooms. The high ceilings and indoor pool added to its allure. She rented this property for a hefty $38,000 a month. Then, in 2017, she decided to put down roots by purchasing a four-story house in the same area. This five, 200-square-foot estate features a more contemporary interior. A standout feature is the skylight in the middle of the room, bathing the space in natural light. The mansion also includes a deluxe cinema, a well-equipped gym, and a bar area with a wine cellar tucked under the stairs. With four bathrooms and four bedrooms, including a master suite decked out in wood, comfort is a priority. She forked out a cool $18 million for this property. Adjacent to this estate, she purchased both the sixth floor and the penthouse of a nearby building, combining them into an enormous eight, 300-square-foot apartment. Preserving its 1880s historic charm, the space boasts high beam ceilings and expansive oak-framed windows. The apartment includes six large bedrooms, five bathrooms, an additional guest bathroom, a bright kitchen, and a living and dining area with rustic accents. This luxurious retreat is now worth approximately $18 million. Like many of America's biggest stars, Taylor Swift also owns properties in Beverly Hills, California. In 2011, she bought a charming cottage-style home on a 1.5-acre lot. Located just minutes from the heart of Beverly Hills, this traditional property features three elegantly decorated bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a guest bathroom. The decor is surprisingly modest, with a vintage kitchen adorned with golden details. The estate also includes a cozy guesthouse for visitors and a rustic wood-paneled office. It also features a tennis and basketball court. Taylor enjoyed this serene retreat for about seven years before selling it in 2018 for $4 million. In 2015, she acquired another lavish residence in Beverly Hills, situated on nearly two acres of land. This expansive property offers 11,000 square feet of living space and dates back to the 1930s, maintaining its original classic Georgian architectural style. With seven generously sized bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, the mansion exudes opulence and grandeur. The formal dining area is bathed in natural light, thanks to a multitude of French doors that open onto the beautiful garden. Additionally, the estate has recreational amenities like a basketball and tennis court, a swimming pool, and an office space. A standout feature of the property is the cozy library, complete with a fireplace for chilly evenings. Reports suggest that Taylor Swift paid a substantial sum of $25 million to acquire this breathtaking mansion. Taylor Swift doesn't just own glamorous properties in Beverly Hills and New York. 
She also has an apartment in Nashville, Tennessee. This place is top-notch, with lots of amazing amenities like a gym, a yoga studio, a big communal area with a huge pool, and a cozy spot for barbecues. Taylor's apartment is pretty spacious, covering about 4,100 square feet, with three big bedrooms and four bathrooms. While we don't know exactly what her place looks like inside, other apartments in the building give us an idea of the luxury it offers. They have these huge windows that show off great views of the city and let in lots of natural light, making the whole place feel elegant and comfy. If you want to be Taylor Swift's neighbor in this fancy place, you'd need to be ready to spend around $2 million. On top of her city pad, Taylor Swift also has a country retreat in Forest Hills, Tennessee. Her house there has a classical style, kind of like the White House. We don't know a whole lot about it, but we do know Taylor bought it in 2011 for $2.5 million. Taylor Swift's real estate portfolio also includes a vacation spot in Westerly, Rhode Island. It's perched right on the beach, offering stunning views. The mansion sits on a 250-square-foot lot and covers 11,000 square feet. It's an old place, built back in 1930. There's not much info out there about it, but we do know it has an amazing pool with a slide, which Taylor added for fun with her friends. It seems like she bought the house in 2013 for almost $18 million. Taylor Swift isn't just about music. She's also into some stylish rides. Her garage has seen quite the lineup, from tough rides like the Hummer H2, which goes for about $60,000, to spacious SUVs like the Toyota Sequoia, valued at around $65,000. She's also been spotted cruising in a Cadillac Escalade, known for its tech features, priced at roughly $80,000. And for some real speed, she's driven a Porsche 911, a slick sports car that can set you back about $90,000. But if it's pure luxury you're after, Taylor's got you covered with the Mercedes Maybach S560, a super posh ride that can cost up to $140,000. When Taylor Swift needs to jet off to her different commitments, she values privacy and comfort. That's why she's had not just one, but two private planes at one point. One of her jets is a Dassault Falcon 50, which can fit up to nine passengers with ease. She got this plane in 2012, but sold it before social distancing became a thing in the United States. While we don't know the exact prices she bought and sold it for, Planes like this usually go for around $15 million. Her other plane is the Mystere Falcon 900 model, which is even more spacious and packed with modern comforts. This aircraft comes with a bathroom, a VIP cabin that can turn into a bedroom for a cozy snooze during long trips, a dining area, a spot for meetings, and a small kitchen. But earlier this year, it was reported that she also sold this jet. And now she's using Dassault 7X, which can cost between $19 million and $23 million. Taylor Swift's love life often grabs headlines, especially since she tends to write songs about her famous ex-boyfriends. Back in 2008, she had a short fling with singer Joe Jonas. Then, in 2009, Taylor Lautner and Taylor Swift were an item after starring together in the movie Valentine's Day. Their breakup inspired her song Back to December. She also dated singer John Mayer briefly, which led to the song Dear John. Between 2009 and 2010, Taylor got involved with actor Jake Gyllenhaal, and their breakup inspired We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. She also had a brief romance with Connor Kennedy, the son of former U.S. President John F. Kennedy. Towards the end of 2012, Taylor started dating Harry Styles, but they split up after the new year, with Harry inspiring I Knew You Were Trouble. One of Taylor's more talked-about relationships was with DJ Calvin Harris, which lasted 15 months. But rumors circulated that Taylor wanted marriage while Calvin wasn't keen. In 2017, she began a quieter relationship with actor Joe Alwyn. And now she's dating American football player Travis Kelsey. Taylor Swift is also a forward-thinking entrepreneur who's tapped into various income sources beyond her music. Besides her singing career, she's been the face of many big brand marketing campaigns, making her a sought-after figure for advertisements. Taylor has had ongoing partnerships with major names like Diet Coke, Toyota, Sony, Keds, and Apple Music, among others. With her massive Instagram following of over 283 million, she's also a powerful influencer, often teaming up with brands such as Disney Plus and Amazon Music to promote her projects. 
On top of all that, Taylor runs her own music video production company. She's known for her hands-on approach to her art, leaving subtle hints and enigmatic references in her videos. This level of involvement showcases her dedication to her craft and her desire for creative autonomy. Taylor Swift's accomplishments in the music world are truly outstanding, especially considering she's amassed such a huge fortune at such a young age. She's renowned as one of the best-selling artists globally, with a big chunk of her music sold independently. Ranked third in digital singles sold, she has consistently been one of the most successful women in music according to Forbes magazine, from 2011 to 2020. Her success comes from various sources, like her hugely popular tours, album and single sales, and earnings from streaming her songs on platforms like YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, and Deezer. With 46 million subscribers and 25 billion views on YouTube alone, she's ahead of other big-name artists like Katy Perry and Shakira. In 2019, Taylor Swift topped the list of the world's highest-paid celebrities, pulling in a jaw-dropping $185 million. According to Forbes, her estimated net worth is $1.1 billion. Taylor's continuous success and impact in the music industry are a testament to her unmatched talent and savvy business skills. And that's the glamorous life of Taylor Swift. If you're as rich as her, what will your life be? Share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to stay updated.